Hey crafters, I'm Lisa Fulmer and today we're playing with Spellbinders. I love their line of media mixage. It's blanks like this one right here that I made into a pendant. It's dies that match. It's bezels and it's texture plates and today we're going to use those things to make this really adorable little wind chime. Let's get started. These are some of the many shapes of metal blanks in the media mixage line from Spellbinders. And these are the matching dies to cut and emboss papers to decorate the blanks. First, let's brighten up this little birdie with some yellow alcohol ink. Next, we'll decorate his wing with some scrap paper that I cut from an old art calendar. Just line up the pattern where you want it on top of the die, and then you're just going to sandwich it between the two plates and run it right through the die cutting machine. So just pop the paper right off the die and now you have this really cute pattern to peek out for the bird's wing. But the back side of this paper is the calendar and we need to cover that because it'll show in the chimes. So for the back we need to cut another piece and we need the bird facing in the other direction. So you got to flip the paper over before you cut it. So now we can glue all three of these pieces together. I just love the look of metal on one side and paper on the other side. After you add glue between each layer, press them together between two sheets of nonstick parchment paper. Well, now this little bird needs something to peep out of, so we're going to use some self adhesive rhinestones to make his little eyes. And then we're going to punch a little hole on top. These open blanks are pretty thin gauge metal, so a standard hole punch works. Here's another really cute way to decorate the solid blanks, and that's by using printed acetate. Just die cut your shape and glue it down with the clear gel glue. These solid blanks are thicker, so you need a heavy duty punch to make your hole on top. Now let's decorate some blanks by using the media mixage texture plates. These plates work really great with the thinner open metal blanks, and the Artisan Explorer machine has stronger pressure, which is perfect for embossing metal. But you just use the cutting plates. There's no need for the embossing mat or the pink plate. How cool is that? I just love how perfectly the die cutting dies go with the blanks. So now we can cut some paper to peek out the window of this little house. Here's another fun idea. Ink up a solid blank, then die cut some printed acetate with the window die and glue them together. So cute! And you know, no project would be complete without some glitter. It's really fun to decorate the blanks with glitter glue. Just squeeze out a nice big puddle and then use a small brush to spread it out to the edges. Once your blanks are ready to hang, thread some clear thin beading cord through each one and close it with a crimping bead. Add a couple larger beads to cover the little tail. You can also place a crimping bead up further on the cord to float some smaller beads. These are what crimping pliers look like. It's a two-step process of flattening the crimping bead around the cord and then squishing it to hug the cord tightly. If you don't want to use crimping beads, you can put a jump ring inside your blank and then add a second jump ring and tie a cord around that and tuck the knot inside a larger bead on top. For the hanger, I'm using a chipboard cutout of a gear that I painted bronze. To give it some more rigidity so it holds the weight of the blanks and beads, glue it to a circle of acetate. And then after that's dry, you can punch tiny holes at the end of each spoke and another set of holes about halfway up each spoke. Okay, now we're ready for the final assembly. You're going to thread each cord through one of the holes and then you're going to add a flat bead on top and then tie off the cord in a double knot. Add a couple of drops of clear gel glue inside the bead to secure the knot and trim off the tail. Then you're going to put eye pins through each of the inside holes and use round nose pliers to make a loop on the other end of each pin and attach all five pins to a jump ring. This is going to keep everything hanging straight. This project is such a great way to use a mishmash of leftover beads. Just make sure none of them are too heavy. The metal blanks act as great sun catchers when you hang it in a window. So pretty! So this is a really fun way to add all your favorite little charms, to decorate them, texturize them, paint them, and have a good time. I'm Lisa Fulmer, and you know I think it's cool to craft. 